This video will describe how to perform analysis of tumor stroma content using routine diagnostic HD stained tissue sections. The assessment of the amount of reactive stroma has been shown to be a prognostic marker in both colorectal cancer and prostate cancer. To prepare the sample for analysis, take a 3 micrometer thick section of the block, stain it with hematoxylin and eosin. The hematoxylin stains nucleic acids, whereas eosin stains proteins. As a result, the nuclei are stained blue and the cytoplasm and extracellular matrix is stained in different shades of pink. The h and stain section is then scanned, and a pathologist digitally marks the tumor area on the image. The stroma analyzer can classify the marked tumor area into three classes, stroma, tumor, and white areas, typically holes, or other empty regions. We can analyze a single image or all the images found under a folder. For this demonstration, we open a single image. To start analysis, we click the Analyze button. The analysis usually runs for a few minutes. Large tumor areas take longer than small areas to analyze. When the analysis is done, a blue mask is drawn over the image, illustrating the regions classified as stroma. Some key statistics will be displayed in the table to the left. For this sample, the results show a stroma content of 29%, indicating good prognosis. Stroma can be combined with DNA ploidy to identify patients at increased risk for poor outcome. The DNA ploidy and stroma biomarker is based on a research collaboration with Professor David Kerr and the University of Oxford. We have demonstrated in these publications that the DNA ploidy and stroma biomarker is a prognostic marker in both colorectal and prostate cancer.